Welcome everyone to episode 7 of The Game Hunter. Today we're talking about all things Nintendo Wii. Why the Wii, you might ask? Well, because the Wii U is going to be out for, believe it or not, a year now, in a few months. Now is the time for you to start collecting your Wii games if you're looking to do that. And I have a few tips I'm going to go over here on the best ways to go about doing that, what to look for, and all kinds of information for you. So, strap in and let's go. As with any game console you're collecting for, there's plenty of big titles that are going to always catch your eye. So, of course, Nintendo's Wii console has plenty of Nintendo games. Mario, Zelda, these are a few that stand out. These are games that are going to be around for a long time. And that's probably because the Wii U does play Wii games. So when you're out and about, GameStop, Best Buy, or wherever, you're always going to see Mario Galaxy, Skyward Sword, even Metroid Prime, things like that are going to be around for a long time. You can probably put those on the back burner. You don't really need those right now. But if you do find a good price for those good, big budget games, then yeah, go right ahead and get those. Um, other non-Nintendo games to look out for, uh, No More Hero stands out as one, some of the Sonic games, things like that. Probably not as popular, but still big games that are going to be around for a long time, so do what you want with those. If you find the good deal, like I said before, of course, grab those. Now, more important to you right now for the Wii ending its cycle are some of the smaller games that still got a lot of publicity, but weren't as big as Mario and all of his friends. So those are the games that are the best to find right now. Um, right off the top of my head, Zack and Wiki is a great game. This one isn't too hard to find now because the Wii is still around, but this is one in the future that's probably going to be hard to find and one that collectors will want because it's going to be a future classic and something that is unique to the Wii. It was a good experience, people liked it, and it was well received. Those are the games that in the future will be the ones that are sought after more, maybe not as expensive, but the ones that might be harder to find than Mario and Zelda and the like. Other examples include A Boy and His Blob is a good game. Same reasons as Zack and Wiki. Um, some of the remakes too, like the House of the Dead remakes, those fit the same category. Not quite as popular, but things to look out for while you're out and about. As with anything, again, a general rule of thumb to remember, collector's editions are, well, obviously good for collectors because they're special editions. The Wii has many of them, believe it or not, and some of them are from Nintendo. So that was uh, Kirby, there's also one for all the Metroid Prime games, uh, there's a Mario one, and all kinds of things like that to look out for. Special editions are going to be harder to find now because they're gone, they're no longer made, but you can still find them. And if you do get them, now they're going to be cheaper. In the future, they are going to go up, so keep that in mind as well. All right, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, 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 this is all stuff I know. Get to something that's new. With the Wii going out and the Wii U still around, even though the Wii U plays Wii games, it's very likely that Wii games aren't going to be made anymore. So you're not going to see new versions of Mario Galaxy on the Wii. They're going to be on the Wii U. So all those Wii games that are sitting at GameStop, Best Buy, or wherever are going to start to trickle away, and you're not going to find them as much. So it is now the time for you to start looking for those games that flew under the radar, that are hard to find already, that didn't get too many sales, that are going to be your future classics. It's the time to get them now. So, like I said before, the House of the Dead games are good ones. Um, a general rule of thumb when looking for games like this to kind of forecast into the future, anything that has a following online or that you've heard of before, anything that didn't sell well but actually was reviewed really well, Anything that's very unique to the Wii are games that will stand out. Um, I have a few examples here that I think in the future will actually be great titles to own. Uh, Mushroom Men, The Spore Wars, it was very well received, well, well enough received. Didn't sell a crazy amount of games, so you're probably not going to see a second one. Maybe you will in the future. But that's one that I'm thinking in the future will actually be a great game to have in your collection. Um, Dragon's Lair Trilogy is a bit of a different take on that. It's a remake and a collection of three older games. Whenever those older games get remade, sometimes that's a collectible item. Dragon's Lair Trilogy, I don't think ever, were ever all together, except maybe on the PC. So this is a unique find for the Wii. Games like that are the ones that you're going to want to look for all the time. Another good thing to keep in mind, anything made by a big publisher, Capcom, for example, Sega, their games will attract crowds. Collectors sometimes want all Sega games or all of Capcom's, anything like that. Those are worthwhile games to look for, and the reason that you want them now is because they're just going to be gone in the future. You're not going to find them as much because GameStop won't stock them, you're not going to find them on Amazon or eBay, and if you do, they're going to be so hard to find that people are going to price gouge them like crazy. So even if you think, well, four bucks is too much for this game, in the future it could be 10, it could be 20, it could be 50 if you're lucky and you already bought it. So definitely, definitely start buying those games now if you want them. Speaking of pricing of games, it's really hard to speculate the future of how all of this is going to break down. Now, for the most part, you can have a lot of reliance knowing that the big published games, like Nintendo's titles, for example, will probably stagnate around 30 to 40 bucks, maybe 50 depending on the game, for all of time. They're not going to be a lot of money in the future because 
people are going to have so many of them in such good condition that they're just going to be flooded everywhere. So if you want to put Skyward Sword you know, aside and not buy it for a long time, that's fine. In the future, you can probably find it for a good price. But some games will go up in price. Um, those games now that are $1, $2 at GameStop or online could be 10 or 15 bucks in the future. I mean, looking 15, 20 years down the road, it could be even more money. So that just goes with time and the scarcity of that item. Again, it's very risky. There's really no way to gauge what it'll be, but you might as well get it now as opposed to waiting later. And the sad truth of it is a lot of games will actually still go down in price. So you might buy a game for 40 bucks. In the future, it might only be $20. That's just the gamble that you take. Hopefully, you get lucky and don't have to worry about that. But there are going to be some titles that will go down in price. And don't let it bother you or get you down or think that you did a bad deal and never collect anything ever again. It's just the way it goes. If you're smart about it, you'll probably make a lot of good choices that would even out anyway. And hopefully, a lot of these games will actually stay the price they are or go up in price and you'll do even better. Okay, so now you know what games to look for, what games to pass on, what's the right price to buy, all those things. So now where do you want to buy them? If you're taking count, I've probably said GameStop in this video three or four times. The reason that is is because they have a crap ton of games just sitting there. Unfortunately, they're not all complete, which we'll get to later, but there are a lot. So if you're looking for games just for the Wii, don't care how they are, that's a great place to go to find a lot of cheap games. Also, check online. Um, eBay is, of course, always there. So is Amazon. But places like Craigslist or even just your friends on Facebook or wherever might be selling their games because they're getting a, a Wii U or a PS4 or something like that. So they're going to put a whole bunch of games up there that could be really cheap. This is a great time to swoop in and start a collection, add more games, or buy games now to sell them later. This is the time to do it now because it's at the end of that life cycle. If you check out my blog, there's actually a written companion to the Game Hunter series. And one of the last ones I did was about knowledge of games. Knowledge is power. The more you know about a game or a game series, the more you can look for and try to find when you're out in the wild. So how do you learn about these things? Well, the best way is to either go to a store or go online and hear and see what people are talking about. If someone's talking about, say, Mushroom Man over and over again, that's going to be on your radar and you're going to want to look for that game because people know about it. That's a more popular game. Um, if a game is related to a series, that's also something to keep in mind. So anything that features Mario will be a good game to have. A game that features Pac-Man is going to be a collectible game for people. So those are things to look out for when you're trying to learn about games. One of the best ways that I do it is by looking online through Wikipedia or other game sites like IGN, GameSpot, even GameStop's own site, seeing what games are related to the game that I'm interested in, and then looking for those and seeing if that's something that'll be fun for me. Personally, I try to only buy games for a system I'm not personally collecting for, or that are titles that I like. So RPGs, fighting games, things like that interest me. Other games, not so much, but it's whatever you want because it's your collection. All right, so wrapping up, we're going to go over a few general ideas and things to keep in mind. The first being research and knowledge, like we just said. Because the games are flying off shelves fast or they're not getting restocked by used stores, things like that, getting your knowledge base down, knowing what to look for now is going to be saving you so many headaches in the future because you're going to have the game already and not worry about it. Also, for collectors looking to find things complete, Actually, finding them complete is going to be much harder to do even one year from now because those games are just not going to be coming back in with manuals or cases. I mean, even right now, you can go to Best Buy, GameStop, any other place that sells used games, Wii games specifically, and you'll find tons of copies that are just the disc only. And that's super sad for me, you know, being one that wants everything complete. So try to buy them complete now because you're not going to get them later. And the last thing to keep in mind is just take a gamble. If the game is only a few bucks or if it's a dollar or two more than you actually want to pay for a game that you're taking a gamble on, just buy it. I mean, it's only a few bucks and you might get lucky. And if nothing else, you at least have a video game that you can play and hopefully enjoy. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of Game Hunter about the Wii. Again, the Wii isn't gone. You'll see it for a long time because the Wii U does play those games. But finding new games, even complete games completing your collection of titles, finding those hard to find games is going to all become much harder to do in the future just because the Wii is, well, for lack of a better term, officially dead. So that wraps up this episode of The Game Hunter. If you have any questions about anything we talked about today, you want to know more titles for the Wii to look for, or you want a different episode covering something else, let me know in the comments below, and I will catch you guys next time.